It's always stay hydrated, bestie, but never how to stay hydrated. First of all, the amount of water your body needs depends on your age, body size, and activity level. Well, yes, water's taste can be different and no, you can't change my mind. And some of y'all out there might have a problem with it. What is it? Even adding fruits won't cut it? It's okay, don't worry about it, I got you. Here are some other things that can keep you hydrated. Sparkling water. While drinking soda has been associated with negative effects, carbonation is not harmful itself. Drinking carbonated water offers the same benefits as drinking plain water. So feel free to drink carbonated water if you're looking for some fees. If you have an obsession, there's good news. It counts towards your daily water intake totals. Because it is just as hydrating as still water. However, the body may take longer to absorb it. But as long as you're drinking enough water, whether still, sparkling, or a mixture, this will not affect your hydration. Coffee and tea. It's generally assumed safe to drink coffee or tea with no risks of dehydration. But that doesn't mean it's safe to completely eliminate water from your daily fluid intake. If you drink only those and no water, you could become dehydrated. The caffeine in them has diuretic effects, meaning it causes your body to pass more urine. The good thing is, these effects are too mild to cause dehydration, especially if you're a regular drinker. Since 98% of your coffee or tea is water, it counts toward your daily water intake. Just be careful about the caffeine intake, you addict. Milk. It is said that milk is more hydrating than water. But how? Firstly, milk contains about 87% water. It is even more hydrating than plain water because it contains the sugar lactose, some protein, and some fat. All of which help to slow the emptying of fluid from the stomach and keep hydration happening over a longer period. Pour me another glass of milk. I'm feeling legendary. Sports drinks. Sports drinks can improve physical performance and increase the length of time that an athlete can perform or compete before reaching exhaustion. They supply the muscles with energy and their main purpose is to restore water and electrolytes that are lost during heavy exercise and sweating and dehydration at bay. They contain electrolytes like sodium, potassium, calcium and magnesium. But these electrolyte heavy concoction aren't meant to be an all-day drink. Fruits and vegetables. Foods that typically provide the highest water content are raw fruits and vegetables. Eating a diet heavy in produce is a good way to give the body vitamins, minerals, and fiber, while increasing your daily water intake. Fruits can assist in supporting hydration and may also be slightly, but not significantly, more hydrating than water in the short term. For example, blueberries, oranges, peaches, pineapples, plums, and raspberries contain over 80% water. Melons such as cantaloupe and watermelon have some of the highest water content at more than 90%. And as for vegetables, cucumbers, iceberg lettuce, celery, radishes, and tomatoes, which all contain above 90% water. Thanks for your attention. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, let us know about your opinions in the comment section. Until next time, bye!